In this video, let's talk about the new Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds. At the time of making this video, the official price in Australia is around $430 or $300 in US. And for that much money, out of the box you get a quick start guide, a safety sheet, a small USB-C cable for charging and the Bose Fit Kit that comes with small and large ear tips and two pairs of stability band in different sizes. The stability bands are somewhat of a new addition to the Bose QuietComfort earbuds and they add a lot to the comfort and getting a more secure fit. They are very easy to slip onto if you ever need to change the size to fit your ears and are able to provide a lot of grip without making your ears uncomfortable. The ear tips which are made from soft silicone also adds to the comfort as they don't burrow in your ear canals like some other earbuds with memory foams. Instead, they open up inside the ears and use friction to stay on. Between the three stability bands and the three ear tips of different sizes, you will have the option to choose from nine different combinations to get the perfect fit. Also, Bose says that your left and your right ears might be different enough to warrant a different configurations in each. So you can use the ear tip fit test in the app to figure out what works best for you like I did. And I can happily confirm that I have zero complaints with either the fit or comfort. I also love the less bulky and the streamlined design of the new Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds. They still have a bit of that headset look with a stem that points towards your jaw, somewhat like the Apple AirPods. And also they don't protrude from the ears as much like the last generation of the Bose QuietComforts. The new QuietComfort earbuds are made entirely from plastic with some gold plating but have managed to attain the IPX4 rating for sweat and water resistance. The case is also made from plastic but has a good weight to it so it does not feel cheap or fragile. However, they are a little bigger than most recent earbuds cases but still you can fit them on most pockets. And in terms of connectivity, the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds support only SBC and AAC codec, which the audiophiles might not appreciate as much. But what is more inconvenient is the lack of support for multipoint connectivity. However, they connect via the latest Bluetooth 5.3 technology with a line of sight range of 30 feet. This gives a very solid and reliable connection with the paired device with absolutely no sync issues. And when it comes to battery life, the earbuds can last up to 6 hours with ANC on and with the case you will get 3 more recharges. In this time and day, these numbers are just average and with the size of the case, I did expect a few more recharges out of the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds. Sadly, there is also no support for wireless charging, but Bose managed to include fast charging which basically gives 2 hours of listening time in just 20 minutes of charging. The outside panel of the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds has a touch sensitive panel with which you can cover all the basic playback commands which is great. And there is also a long press action that you can customize to summon your phone's voice assistant or switch between sound modes. And I also love the fact that there is a slight gesture for controlling the volume as well. I have no complaints in this department as every command was executed very reliably. Also, there is in-ear detection which will pause music as soon as they are taken off the ears. There is simply no question that the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds are the gold standard in noise cancellation. I have not tested any other earbud thus far in this year that can effectively cancel the high and low range of the bass frequency as much as these earbuds can. They are just too quiet. And on top of that, if you get a good enough fit which helps with passive noise cancellation, then you can just block out the entire world around you. Even if there is someone standing beside you and talking loudly, the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds will muffle those sound enough to keep you distraction free. I have not noticed any background hiss or the vacuum feeling that one might feel when ANC mode is on, so I can confirm that they are also super comfortable. If you are looking for an earbud to replace your over-ear headphones but still retain the same amount of noise cancellation, then the QuietComfort 2 is the perfect earbud. I also love Bose's aware listening mode which is kind of like transparency mode that you get on other earbuds. In this mode, the earbuds automatically adjust the amount of ANC so music is not drowned out by any loud noises while also allowing you to get the general essence of the surrounding. 
they sound much more natural and balanced when you will compare them against their rivals from Sony and Sennheiser. There is also a feature called Auto Transparency Mode. Say for example, if you want to have a chat with someone and you take out one of the earbuds from your ears, then the other earbud will drop to its lowest ANC settings so that things don't sound unbalanced. The sound quality also takes a big jump from the last generation of Bose QuietComfort earbuds. With the latest generation, the sound is much more dynamic and open. I love the little details that I was able to hear on the treble end and especially from cymbals or snare of a drum. And I also like the thump and boom that I got from the bass range. There is proper substance and texture behind that bass which I'm sure anyone will enjoy. Another noticeable upgrade in sound department is the separation of layers of instruments. They are able to highlight each individual layer with great accuracy with a lot of detail. The sound profile is balanced or neutral, so out of the box they sound awesome with all genres of music. But there is a graphic equalizer which will let you fine tune the music even more as per your needs. On my ears, the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbud sounds better than the Sony W1000XM4s as they are wonderfully balanced and don't impose their characteristics on the music. Also like many other companies, Bose has a technology to tailor sound as per the shape of your ears called Custom Tune. Since this technology worked automatically and I have not found a way to disable them, I'm not really sure how much of a difference it makes when it's on versus when it's off. Testing the microphone of the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The call quality is okay I guess. From the sample you just heard, you will notice that the earbuds let in a lot of ambient sound. Though they are able to focus on the voice well, the lack of some aggressive noise cancelling will mean that the person on the other end of the call might be struggling to hear you a little bit. But all of these problems goes away if you are indoors and taking a call on Zoom or on MS Teams or on your cell phone. So overall, I would say that if you are looking for industry leading ANC, then get the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds without any hesitation. The difference in class in ANC between the new and the old generation is night and day. However, I do miss the fact that it does not support aptX or LDAC codec and I also think that it's super inconvenient in this day and age to not have support for wireless charging or multipoint connectivity. Otherwise, the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds have a competitive call quality and battery life with hugely improved sound to go with that great AANC technology. They are surely a worthy competitor to the latest release from Apple, Sennheiser and Sony. So watch out for my comparison videos in the coming days. Also, please let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week. Peace.